What's going on everybody? It's Dog Picks by Tim and today I'm going to get into five small caps that I will be very closely watching. Most of these I will buy. A few of these I'll just watch for to see if they break a level or start retracing. But let's get into it and we're going to start off with a questive. Now this one is expecting the FDA trial to either be approved or denied. December 23 I believe it is. And we are starting to see some buying pressure come in. And we did find this support it seems because this was previously a resistance a long time ago, so it did find this as somewhat of a support. Now we are oversold on the RSI, and the MACD is pointing down. It could it could consolidate sideways a little bit before turning around and going back up, but this one did find some pretty decent support at the 100 day, and then it came back up, retested the all-time highs, broke it by like a penny or two, and then got rejected and has just been falling, free falling, Last couple of days, we've had a rough market. That's mostly, I think, the reason. Otherwise, this would have probably found pretty good support at the 100 day. So I will be scooping this up. I think it's at a great deal right now. And there will still be people piling in coming closer to that FDA deadline. All right. And next up, I want to get into Indie Semiconductors. This is my favorite semiconductor stock. And it did run up really nice right up to about 16 before kind of just downtrending since. We did get this bit of a head and shoulders. And then we fell and we did break this trend line. We did break this trend line. So that's not good news. Although it did get caught with a little bit of buying pressure. This trend line has been consistently supporting it for a couple months now. And, um, and I personally think it's a buy. If it goes down further, it's very unlikely to go under $12. There seems to be a good amount of support under 12. We are flirting with oversold on the RSI. So just keep an eye on this one. Be patient with it. I do have a decent position in it and I've got some calls and some warrants. So warrants actually were very, were getting very cheap. I saw the warrants dropping more than the stock. So definitely keep an eye on the warrants and you can find them on Vanguard and stuff like that. I don't think you can get them on Weeble, but definitely love Indie and I'm in it for the long term. And next we're going to get into any or 3D sphere. Now this one is very, very oversold. The merger was delayed. They announced on the earnings date that the merger was delayed. This caused this gap down and just a continued runoff plus the market conditions. And I think it's still somewhat of a falling knife. I would wait to see it turn around, but it is heavily oversold. The thing is, everyone just got out of this one because the merger was delayed and people, you know, people gave up on it essentially. Now, if you're convicted on this, I think now is a great time to buy. I won't be buying right now because I am a bit overextended in companies like this, CleanSpark, Bitcoin in general. If I didn't have so much in the crypto side of things, I would very likely be buying some of this right now, but I am a little overextended in it. And for that reason, I'm going to hold it and I'm just going to wait, see when we retrace and then potentially add to my position. But for now, this is somewhat in free fall and I would wait to... I would wait for a reversal. And next up, we've got Volta VLTA. And it does look like the MACD is turning around. And we've got the RSI pointing upwards from oversold. Very heavily oversold. And we do see some green starting to appear here. I think it's a great time to buy it. I like Indy. I've said I like this under 10. It's barely $8. I would pick it up right now. And I'm going to continue to do so. Volta is definitely a great charging play, and I do have this, and I have ChargePoint, and actually ChargePoint's another one that's at a pretty good zone to buy. It's down in the low 20s, right about like $21, $22, but these two, Volta and ChargePoint, two great charging plays, and um, both relatively oversold, although I think ChargePoint could potentially drop a little bit more, but we'll see about that, but let's get into the next one here. Now, next up, we're going to get into Astra, A-S-T-R. Now, they did recently on this run up gap up huge run up they reached orbit on their rocket it caused a huge sell off almost most of it came back from when it ran up but then it tried to spike again and then we just had poor market conditions fed tapering variant fears and just you know small caps continuing to get beaten down i think there's a great deal we are flirting with oversold with the macd's pointing down and we aren't seeing any buying pressure come in. I would wait to see some buying pressure come in, but I do think we're going to find a support somewhere around 9. And uh, we've done that before. We jumped up from right around 9 here. So when it came down to about 9, this was the rocket being delayed on the Friday. And then, of course, the next day, the Saturday, it ran up, which caused Monday pre-market to just gap up like crazy. A little bit more buying, and then it just sold off. 
So I think the max downside, we are right around it now. Because when you think about it, when it was down at 9 here, down at 9 here, that was before the successful orbit. So I do see it as a buy, and I will be continuing to scoop Astra up. I do like this one. And I prefer it over something like Virgin Galactic Rocket Labs. Um, but maybe you can change my mind. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Five quick, relatively small caps to scoop up next week. And I will be scooping most of these up. And some I'll be looking for a reversal. Potentially this, I'd prefer to come around and show me some green. But that's all I got for you. I'll be putting out another video tomorrow. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe so you'll catch it next time. And, uh, and good luck next week, guys.